This is part 9 of parabolas, and we're going to graph this function, f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 6x, as well as state all of the things I have here on the left. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the axis of symmetry. Well, notice this is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Of course, c is 0 in this case. So it's easy to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a to get the, the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to have negative, my b value is 6, over 2 times negative 2. All right, so that's going to end up being positive, right, because I have a negative and I have another negative. So 6 fourths is going to be 3 halves. So my vertex, I'm sorry, my axis of symmetry is x equals 3 halves which means my vertex point is going to have 3 halves for the x-coordinate. All right, so now we know that the x-coordinate is 3 halves. How am I going to get the y-coordinate? I have to go back up to the function and plug in 3 halves. So if the function is f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 6x, I have to plug in 3 halves for x. All right, so I'm putting in 3 halves squared plus 6 times 3 halves. Now, you can't get rid of those fractions, by the way. You're just simplifying. Don't try bo multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. There aren't really two sides. You're just simplifying. So this is negative 2 times, well, 3 halves times 3 halves is 9 fourths plus and I'm going to go ahead and leave this as 18 halves because um, I'm going to get a common denominator in a minute. You, you could have, you know, canceled and say that that was 9. But notice that I can cancel this and I have a negative 9 halves plus 18 halves. So negative 9 halves plus 18 halves is 9 halves. So my y value for my vertex point is 9 halves, so it's going to be 3 halves, 9 halves. Now, if you want, you could write that as 1 and a half, 4 and a half, right? Same thing. So let's go back up here. 